Did you know that NVIDIA just undercut Apple in the race for the best local AI processing? Today's video is brought to you by Brain.fm, science-backed focus music that sounds great, by the way. You can check it out linked up down below. NVIDIA's Project Digits is a personal AI supercomputer that's small enough to fit on your desk, but powerful enough to handle AI models with up to 200 billion parameters. Leaving people like Alex Chima to point out that while Apple's been positioning M4 chips for local AI inference with their uniform memory architecture, stacking Project Digits personal computers is now the most affordable way to run Frontier LLMs locally, which means that those stacked Mac mini AI clusters are a little less impressive all of a sudden. So what's the big deal here? This is like the democratization of AI. So this is some powerful hardware and it makes it possible all of a sudden for people other than enormous corporations to do some pretty powerful things with local AI. It feels like literally a week ago, maybe two, where everyone was excited about Apple and the Mac mini and these clusters being able to potentially transform personal computing with AI. Now everyone's talking about Nvidia with Project Digits, which yeah, is gonna run you about 3000 bucks, but if you're gonna do some serious AI work locally with Apple anyways, I mean, you're gonna be spending quite a bit already. It's not like it's that crazy of a price. You can see just how small this thing is too. It's sitting there to the left of the keyboard on the desk. It's basically like a Mac mini sized thing, much uglier I would say. Apple still has not beat in the design department. What's crazy about this is you can have super powerful AI running in your house and you don't have to rely on necessarily you know, the cloud and other providers to sell you an AI that you can do stuff with. Like you can literally just build your own AI system and it's really not that hard. It's getting easier and easier all the time. I know some people who are freaked out about this though. This is such powerful AI that's potentially at your fingertips. People are like, what are people gonna do with this? I mean, I'm excited because I can put it to use in really creative and clever ways, but I know a lot of people just go straight to the fear factor and they're like, this can't be used for anything good that's kind of ridiculous. Like people are gonna use all technology, like all tools for good things and for not so good things. The thing I just wanna point out about this is this is technology that was previously only basically available in a data center. So yeah, I mean, this is a significant leap in personal AI computing for sure. Now let's do be realistic here because yeah, it's powerful. It's very powerful, but you're not just gonna put Apple out of business here, especially in this department. So for your average everyday consumer, I think Apple, still is gonna win in terms of an integrated ecosystem. So if you need a more seamless experience in terms of the user experience and you're just an average everyday person, you're still gonna take the Apple route, I think. But the reason people were stacking Mac minis in the first place is because there's a lot of AI hobbyists out there, maybe smaller scale developers who just want some grassroots AI innovation. And I get that. AI is so fun to play around with that I understand the appeal for sure. Now, Nvidia, being able to bring the power of a thousand laptops at your disposal to use for AI, that's the crazy thing here. It is so powerful. I mean, I would love to see this push Apple to you know innovate even further and come out with their own actual competition to this NVIDIA product that's just an all-in-one package like this with extra, extra, extra power without even having to mess with daisy chaining everything, without even having to worry about things like Thunderbolt ports and cords and stuff. So give me your take. Is this something that's gonna change the face of AI stuff? Feels like there's so many developments like every other week or every other day almost in the realm of AI that it's like, you're almost like, well, I'll just wait a little bit because if I do something even better is gonna come down the pipeline. The thing is, I think that's kind of a mistake. Like if you see an opportunity to jump in, something excites you, I think that you should. Otherwise you're gonna get left in the dust in terms of, you just gotta get out there and start getting your hands dirty, trying stuff out. But if you wait too long and you're looking for the perfect application or hardware to come down the pipeline, then I think you're just gonna end up missing the boat, honestly. And other people are gonna get out there and start doing really interesting things. And I would hate to see you, you know, get past up there. So go out there and check into this stuff, whether you take just the single Mac route, you don't even do like a stack or anything, because you can run some really powerful local AI models right on your Mac using something like LM Studio. You can even use something like Apollo AI for private local AI right on your iPhone if you have a powerful enough, new enough iPhone. Either way, let me know your thoughts here. I think this is really interesting stuff. I just wanna take a brief second and let you know about our sponsor today, Brain.fm. I love Brain.fm. I'm literally never without this app on my Mac, on my iPhone, wherever I go, because it just sounds so good. But it's not just about the sound. Brain.fm is science-based, science-backed, and it will help you actually concentrate better. So it actually works as fast as just five minutes. And I love the interface. 
and it just really has a, a quite an effect. Check it out. As you can see, people really love it. And if you check the link down in the description, you can get 30 days free.